Like an Arthur Pjanic exchange, Setien can be fired in the near future. Messi ignores Barcelona's coaches and Ronaldo has more chances than Lionel to win Ballon d'Or 2020. It's not an episode, it's a blast, not just a fire, it's a burning flame. Guys, we are so happy that Football World has this splash of activity and urge you to subscribe. If you love football and you don't know what channel to subscribe and you don't want to miss anything important, the answer is simple. Subscribe on Football News. We are doing our content every day with a full top news agenda. Guys, today is going to take place a match between Barcelona and Atletico. Go and make a prognose on a central match of the day in the comments. Let's see who is the coolest. And now, press like and let's get started. Buffon and Chiellini extended their contract with Juventus on a year. An agreement with 42-year-old Buffon and 35-year-old Chiellini extended till the summer 2021. Nike made a new ball called Nike Flight that will be used in English and Italian leagues in 2020-2021 season. Looks very cool. Man City wants to sign Alaba in the deal with Sané, Bayern declined for now. Milan is ready to extend a contract with Donnarumma until 2023 with a salary increase. Manchester United's goalkeeper Dean Henderson will continue to play in Sheffield United squad till the end of 2019-2020 season on loan. Aguero can move to Inter with an exchange on Skriniar. The deal could be made in the end of the season. Calcio Mercato reports. Thiago Silva extended his contract with PSG till the end of 2019-2020 season. Inter has 61 points after 28 Serie A tours. It is the best result of the club since 2008-2009 season. Man City is looking for Burnley's winger McNeil and Aston Villa's attacking midfielder Grealish as a potential Sané replacement. Arsenal made an offer about the transfer of Levante's midfielder Bardi. PSG announced on the official site about contract extension with defender Levin Kurzawa. The new agreement works until the summer of 2024. Borussia Dortmund presented a teaser with a home kit on the next season. A system of coach support among black, Asian and ethnic minorities was introduced in England. Andrea Pirlo is back in Juventus. A legendary ex-midfielder will coach Juventus U23. Juventus is negotiating about a 20-year-old Valencia winger Ferran Torres, who is considered to be among one of the talents of the new Spanish footballer's generation. Valencia fired Celades. One of the contenders on the vacant position is Barcelona's ex-coach Ernesto Valverde. Juventus will not participate in the race for Arsenal's forward Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in the near transfer window, informs Bleacher Report. Man City is interested in Bournemouth defender Nathan Ake. According to The Athletic, the negotiations started. Liverpool's management won't fight for Napoli's centre-back Khalidou Koulibaly, claims Sky Sports. MLS announced that 18 players and 6 employees have positive tests on coronavirus. And now to the main news of the episode. Yesterday, one EPL and one La Liga match took place. The results are on your screens. It happened. Now it's official. Barcelona and Juventus did an exchange. Arthur went to Torino at the end of the season and Pjanic will settle in the capital of Catalonia. Juventus will pay for the Brazilian midfielder 72 million euros plus 10 million approximate bonuses. Earlier medias were writing about a five-year deal. Barcelona will pay for Pjanic 60 million euros and 5 million as a bonus. An agreement with the Bosnian will be on four years. His clause will be 400 million euros. Barcelona fans humiliated Bartomeu in the social nets. Hashtag Bartomeu out. And we can understand them. Catalan club management just secured themselves with this deal from UEFA penalties from breaking the rules of financial fair play according to the results of the football year. Arthur was sacrificed. Trash in Barcelona is going on. Management supports Setien with a word, but already looks for a possible coach's replacement. According to the countless provable sources, if Barca won't win next matches against Atletico and Villarreal, Catalan will have a new coach. Javier Garcia Pimienta, Barcelona B coach who is working till the end of the season. 
We have already talked about the conflict between Barcelona leaders and coaching staff. Here's an example. During the match against Celta, Messi ignored directions of Citian's assistant at their Sarabia on the water break. The coach wanted to talk to the Argentinian, but footballer turned around and walked away. Later, Messi returned to put a bottle of water. Sarabia tried to talk again with the forward, but Lionel ignored him again. Yes, it seems like there is a big mess in Barcelona, in the management and on the football field. Goal.com has updated the rating of the main contenders of Ballon d'Or 2020. The first 10 are Jadon Sancho. Next goes Mbappé, Holland, Neymar, Benzema and Thomas Müller. Lionel Messi is fourth. The third is Kevin De Bruyne. On the second place goes Cristiano Ronaldo and Robert Lewandowski still leads the way. Do you agree with this rating? Guys, watch proposed videos and subscribe on the football news. There is no much informative channels this one. Have a nice mood and let your clubs win. Bye bye.